I've been holding back on The Walking Dead. I've been really trying my hardest to get this Walking Dead episode out, but it's been nearly impossible. But today, all that changes. No matter what the cause is, it's going down. <coughs> Fuck. What's up, guys? My name is Hollow, and welcome back! <sighs> Rebecca's next door. She probably thinks I'm a fucking idiot. Today, we continue the story with Lee, Clementine, Kenny, and company as we dive deep into Season 1, Episode 4, Part 1, Around Every Corner. We've pretty much just lost almost everyone, and it's been really freaking depressing lately. We've lost friends, kids, mothers, everyone's pretty much practically died at this point. So the main characters now are just Lee, Kenny, and Clem, and now we came across two strangers. And so far, they seem to be good. For those of you that have already seen this game, you should know what happens. For those of you that have not, then stay tuned and find out. Or if you just want to stay and you already know what happens, stay tuned and find out again. Fuck's the problem. Oh, yeah, she died too because Lily killed her. She's stealing the and RV. And she stole the RV as well. We had the tragic loss of our good old pal, right Duck. That was actually very emotional. I cried like a baby. Ah! <laughs> We also found out that Clem was talking to an unknown individual, stating that he had her parents. Obviously, it's not for good reasons. Welcome back again. Here we go. The Walking Dead. I think we've reached the town that we were supposed to go to by this point. Very deserted area. Jefferson Street. Everyone's probably dead. As you can see, no zombies so far, so good. We have the group now walking in episode four around every corner. We've got uh, Ben paranoid as always. We have Omi that just fell down from a train. So he's probably got a couple broken ribs, maybe a broken leg. And of course I would assume Clementine is just very, very curious about her parents' whereabouts at this point. As she looks at the walkie-talkie. Can't I just hold it? Just for a little while? We're getting real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can... Not now. I need you to focus. Keep your attention on the street. Okay. Sorry. How's Omid? His leg's pretty bad. It was fine. his leg. Okay. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Okay, so you're right. Let's stop. Kenny, how much farther hmm. to the riverfront? There should be just a few more blocks up ahead. And there'll be boats there? It sure as hell better be. There'll be boats. Have to be. Have to be. It's going to be okay. Kenny knows what he's doing. See, the whole point right now is literally to get to the ocean. That's Kenny's point. And now we're kind of creeped out at the fact that Maybe somebody the rang the bell. Not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Wouldn't that trigger zombies? Someone's up there! Are you sure? I don't see anything. Hey! Hey, you up there! Damn it, Lee. Keep quiet. You're gonna... Uh-oh. If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. I thought you said that thing didn't work. Who the hell is this? Hello? Hello? I said answer me. That was definitely, obviously, the same person that was tricking Clam into thinking that he had her parents. What was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? It tolls for thee. That's exactly what it is. That's probably like a mechanism that they use to clean the streets of unwanted pedestrians. Some people come here, maybe the people that are already living in this area don't want people. So when they see unknown individuals, they uh, 
Everybody, run! They ring the bell. So then the zombies come towards the noise and they kill everyone. But unluckily for them, we are well equipped. We got a bomb with a shovel. We got Lee with a gun and pretty much everything else that you need to survive a uh, zombie apocalypse. A shovel has never been <laughs> this effective and uh, just Kenny got tripped by a, a literal zombie. Okay, Kenny, uh, you're definitely not well equipped for this. Okay, it's okay. I've got your back. This is like the 10th time that I saved you. Kenny, get with the program. Oh, God. I've always found it kind of funny how Ben and Clem get put in, in, in these situations. Especially Ben. I mean, he's a grown-ass man. And look at what he does. He just leaves Clementine. Shooting here is... Oh, God. Oh, this is disgusting. Oh, my God. Oh! Oh, no. He's not going to make it. I really don't even remember what happened. So Move your asses! River Street's right up ahead! That's not all. I just want to say my aim is really not oh, that bad. It's just this game is dead Wait, zone as well. Okay. Poor Chuck. He's not going to make it. He's in trouble. We gotta help him. We've got to help him. We've, we've got to help him. We've got to help out Chuck. There's no time. We got to go now. I'll be fine. Just go! Oh, crap. I thought I was going to give me the option to help him out. Now I feel like a freaking dick. Seems like we found some shelter. <laughs> this guy is like... You okay? Uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We've got to get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Jesus we're, we're Christ. Guys, you... Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Lady, I ain't the one who's bleeding. Quit it, the pair of you. Gonna bring more of them down on us. I'll see if I can find a way in. Yeah, sometimes I got to stand my ground and tell everyone here to shut the hell up. We need to work together, not against each other, okay? I'm going to speak to a couple of these characters. Clementine, see what she's thinking. She's probably scared as hell. Do you think the dead people saw us come back here? Are they going to find us? Uh, try not to worry. Try not to worry. Even if they saw us, they can't get in here. We did. Why can't they? We're a lot smarter than they are. They're just like dumb animals. They can't open doors. He used to have a pet hamster. One night, he figured out how to open the door to his cage. And when we woke up, he'd eaten half a box of cookies. I don't think this is quite the same, Clem. Yeah, right. This time, we're the cookies. Just stay away from the gate. I'm going to see about getting us inside the house. That was actually very funny. <laughs> This time were the cookies. All right, guys, you saw it here first. We are officially labeled as cookies. We're gonna speak to Amid and Krista. I'm all right, you're not all right. You've reopened your wound. You're losing blood, and God only knows what might have gotten in there. It could be infected. It could be. No offense, but you really need to work on your bedside manner. She's just worried about you, man. Don't worry. We're going to get you fixed up in no time. Just as soon as we're inside, okay? Okay. Thanks, man. Please go and help Kenny. We need to get him inside now. I'm on it. Just sit tight. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. Remember, the main rule here is to survive. If we don't survive, we pretty much die. Now we have some interesting... Uh... Like something was buried here. A dog house. It was definitely the dog they buried there. Oh, that's actually pretty sad. So at least we know when we have a dog on the scene, we know that there was probably a family living here. Dirt mount, dog house, fountain. It's got water, which is probably uh, probably disgusting at this point. We've got a shovel. I'm gonna pick up the shovel. We might actually be able to use this for something. Shovel is never not useful. 
I wonder if we use this to... Was it for the dirt? Let's let's dig up this... Uh, This is probably going to be a bad idea. Okay, fine. We'll use that later. God, I, I'm sorry, man. I was intrigued. I wanted to see the dead dog. I know that sounds messed up, but... Uh, you know, we are in the middle of an apocalypse. You know? And sometimes... uh. Des desperate times call for desperate measures. Think we can get in through one of these windows? Man, I don't think so. Whoever owned this place had them all barred up. Yeah, looks pretty solid. Yeah, so now I'm going to tell Ben, yo, you need to be a team player here. You you're pretty much just backing yourself up. You left Kenny and Clem to die. What the hell was that? How do you think Kenny's holding up? I don't know. It's... It's like all he can think about is finding a boat. He definitely doesn't want to talk about Katja and Duck, at least not with me. Maybe we should just let him deal with it in his own way. But what Here we go. Back there on the street? I know. I don't know what happened. I just froze up. Hasn't that ever happened to you? Just hear what I'm saying to you. You put that girl in danger again. It won't be walkers you have to worry about. Oh. I hear you. I'm going to go check things out. All right. All right, so we've pretty much told him Clem is number one priority, which is a good thing. I'm going to speak to Kenny. Hey, how you holding up, man? Lee, I appreciate the interest. But I don't think talking about my feelings right now is going to help us get inside this house. Okay. How's it coming? Find a way in yet? <clears throat> Door's locked up tight. Too heavy to force it without making a whole lot of noise. Maybe there's a better way in. Well, if there is, I ain't seeing it. You think maybe someone's still inside? Nah. We'd have heard from him by now, all the racket we're making. But whoever was here did a pretty good job fortifying it. Nice place to hole up. We can just figure out how to get in. Maybe you should have a look around. See what you can find. I mean, if you think about it, if somebody fortifies a house like this, how are they going to go back inside? There's got to be a way in. There, there just has to be. And I'm thinking... What's this? Oh. Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. Oh, well, it's probably for the dog. I tried it already. That's locked too. Okay. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. <laughs> My neighbor had one just like that. It's it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Bullshit. Every day's a school day. Well, I'll be honest. I just All got right, schooled because so I've never heard of that before. Where's the dog? And I just learned something new. And you see, I told you. I knew it. We just had to dig the dog dirt some way, shape, or form. In order to get that collar, I actually... uh. I don't even remember this is exactly what I had to do, but... Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. What's buried down there? Oh, she's gonna see a dead dog. I don't think this is probably the right thing to do in front of a little girl. Uh... Uh... Nothing. Clem, go over and sit with Krista and Obi, okay? But I want to just do what I say, okay? Oh, I'm sorry, Clem. I didn't make I didn't mean to make her feel hurt. Sometimes in this game you select different choices, and sometimes oh, these God, choices really sad. make you feel really shitty. Oh goodness, what that's disgusting. Gosh shit. Alright, doggy, please don't bite me. I don't think dogs can I can't get it off. Oh, okay, that is not cool. Oh, Are crap. You okay? <laughs> I'm fine. Oh my goodness. It's just the smell. Are you sure you I said I'm fine, okay? Well, I'll be honest, that really didn't look like a dog. That looked like I'm sort of like mole rat or some shit. I don't know. Anyhow, I'm going to present the collar here. Goes nothing. This should get things opened. Yes! God damn! 
You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. We're definitely gonna need Clementine to Whatever you're gonna do, go under the dog fast. door. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. Mm. It's no good. I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can. <laughs> Pim, are you okay? Say something. Good work, Clem. But don't go shooting off like that without asking first, okay? I was just trying to help. I know, and you did good. You just had me worried there for a minute. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. <laughs> Meat is hilarious. Looks okay from here. Everybody in. I mean, obviously, we'd go inside this house thinking that there has got to be someone in there, right? Let's say there was a family locked up in there and somehow they died. Maybe they starved to death or whatever the case may be. They've got to be turned into zombies regardless because we've learned that even if you die of natural causes, you're still going to turn into a zombie as the virus is inside everyone pretty much. And that's also the same story with the show, if I'm not mistaken. Sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> I'm good feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. Oh, that's the family. So, when were you going to tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? Well? I was going to tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that, and then try to warn us about it? How much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. I don't know who it was. All I know is they're no friend of ours. Damn right. I'm telling you, they don't want us getting to the river. Maybe they want those boats all to themselves. But we'll see about that. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. We need to make sure Chuck is okay. Once it's quieted down outside, we'll all head towards the river. See if we can find him. Deal? Suit yourselves. And I'm not gonna wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. That's our ticket out of here. That's the thing I hate about Kenny. He is always so impatient, so arrogant about everything. I wish I could just slap his ass. I'll feel better when we know that. For Sometimes sure. you know. We need to check the whole house. All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door. Understand? Okay. All right. So now we're gonna investigate the house. Is there anything I can do? <sighs> Thanks. This should be fun. Hang out with Chris and Omid until I get back, okay? Lee, nah. I'm sorry. What for? Going through the door like that without checking first? I guess that was pretty dumb, huh? Just ask me first the next time you're gonna outsmart yeah. all the grown-ups, okay? That was pretty stupid, Clem. Okay. Don't do it again. Next time you do it, I'm putting your little ass in timeout. And then guess what? Not gonna be able to do anything, okay? So, we're gonna do what's gotta be done and... First thing is first, we're going to investigate the house, speak to the characters, and go from there. So, one thing we got to take into consideration is now, why is everything empty? Nothing. Water's off. Which I'm pretty sure should be indication of maybe dog food. Should be an indication of people probably left. 
Hope we never get desperate enough for food that this starts looking appetizing. Okay, well, hey, listen, bro. I'm not that hungry. Besides, I need to finish checking the downstairs. Okay, fine. I was gonna say, listen, bro, let's just eat dog food. We'll be okay. All right, nothing's here. We've got uh, grandfather clock. Must have stopped working a while ago. Obviously, there's no electricity. I don't know, unless it runs by battery. I honestly don't know. I've never really had a grandfather clock. Okay, I'm not that old. We have here a bottle of whiskey. So someone got drunk. Whoever cleared this place out left behind two bottles of whiskey. Looks like someone didn't have their priorities straight. Or probably they just said, you know what? Screw it. We're all going to die. Let's just have a good time. Probably have some casual sex. And um, just, yeah. I'm going to pick it up. Should Probably I pick it up? Not the best idea right now. God damn. I wanted to get drunk. To stay frosty. Okay. That's all I wanted to do. Get a little tipsy. You it's know. Expensive and heavy. He's out the pain. Any looters would be able to haul that thing too far. It's so obviously the table. How's it coming? Oh god, you scared the shit out of me, Krista. Was that Krista? Okay, so this is another part of the house. I'm gonna speak to friends now. Before I speak to her. Let me check out this family portrait. These are the individual, the residents that lived here before. We had a family of three with a dog, a family of four. And we already found one of the one of the corpses. And that was the dog. And here we have Not exactly my style. I don't know what that painting was, but something happened. Looks like I got hit with something or fell down. There was some sort of trouble hey happening in this house prior house to looking? prior to I've the people the that lived here leaving. But so far, so good. It is our mission to find out what exactly happened. So first, we're going to talk to our companions. How's that couch treating you, Omi? Leg feeling better yet? I'm all right. I mean, you probably See? wouldn't be in this predicament if you didn't jump down to a drain like a moron. I mean, I did that too, so. <laughs> Wait, I think I'm the one that actually pushed him into the drain. <laughs> I don't remember this right house now. This was a hell of a stroke of luck. I like it a lot better when we know for sure it's safe. I'll make sure. But right now it feels like just the break we needed. Maybe our luck's starting to turn around. I'd like to believe that. Really, I would. What do you guys think about this plan at Kinney's? The guy's losing it. Look, Lee, I know he's your friend and all, but you need to be careful. That man is on the edge, and I don't know if I want to be around when he goes over it. Kenny's solid. He's just been through a lot, that's all. I hope you're right. For all our sakes. Sit tight. I'll keep checking the first floor to make sure it's safe. Thanks, Lee. That's the thing about Kenny. He is kind of crazy and arrogant, but he's a solid dude. He really is. Holding up okay? I hope this house is safe. Have you checked all the rooms to make sure? No, but I'll take care of it. All right, low. Well, let's see here. What do we got? Um, we can go in that door over there. We got two doors right now. Okay. Oh, dude, there's so much to explore in this house. It's actually quite insane. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish off this area here. I'm gonna go inside these two rooms. Hopefully, they don't lead to like different hallways or anything like that. Maybe just master bedrooms or whatever. Gotta be careful. Okay, it's just the bathroom. That's actually a good thing. That is a good thing. I'm just not a fan of like the game gives you so many options, so many places to discover. I mean, it's good, but sometimes it's like, shit, I really got to go through all of this. Okay, just another bathroom perhaps, or maybe a closet. Yep, it's definitely a closet. All clear in here. Okay. First floor living room is clear. Just one more to check. We are good to go. One more to check. What do you mean? Is there a door here that I didn't particularly see or something? I think we're good. Okay, I'm going to go this way. See if there's anything this way. Oh, this is the one. Okay. Here we go. Oh, shit. <gasps> Fuck shit. What? What happened? It's nothing. Just uh, nothing. Was that Kenny that screamed out Jesus at the same time that that? Uh, place ain't got much. 
We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Nah, just dog food. And there's some whiskey in the back. We could use that. Kill infection, right? I was just asking Clementine if she know. knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? So Gullib was what a child. What saying to him? I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee? Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Oh, God. Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Stay here. Oh, God, here we go into the attic. Things never happen good. I mean, what, that makes no sense. Nothing good happens in the attic. See, if Kenny's wife was here, she'd be able to help out Omid. Definitely. But unfortunately, she's not. She she died. Oh, my God. Yes. Kenny, you okay, man? Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh, my God. Oh my, that's the little boy, dude. Oh my God, bro. That looks like duck, don't he? It's just a kid. What the hell happened to him? Bro, he was Nothing starving. I guess he must have been hiding out up here. Starved to death. He starved to death. I don't know if I can, Lee. Couldn't do it before. Can't do it now. I can't ask you to do this, man. I'll take care of it. Like I did before. Are you sure? I guess we'll find out. Oh my god. But give the gun to Kenny. Oh, dude, that is so sad. I remember this part like, oh, I completely forgot. But now I remember. This is just terrible. He's just a little boy. Must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. Oh, this could have been Clementine. I hadn't found her when I did. Look at the little noises he makes. Oh, my God. He's so bony and fragile. Someone should put him out of his misery. Now, I'm not going to shoot because that's going to cause attention, so I'll probably get the wrench. I'm wow. Sorry. We should bury him next to his dog. Take care of it. Oh my god, dude! It's exactly like duck, pretty much. <laughs> I mean, Kenny must be traumatized. Luckily for him, the boy couldn't even move as he was so little, and the bones probably just didn't even allow him to move, even as a zombie, you know. That sucks. 
Ah, oh, that's terrible. Oh man, that is just bad. Ah, oh, so we bury him now with his doggy. Absolutely horrible. Oh man, if that's not fucked up, I don't know what is, bro. <laughs> Buried with his dog. Oh my freaking god. I would like to know how the dog died before, because they did bury him, so. And why was the boy up there alone? Maybe his parents thought, hey, let's just seclude him inside the house. He'll survive. Leave him X amount of food. He ran out of food. He didn't survive. And his parents left him there to die. I would not leave my kid alone. I don't care. I just won't. I know they probably did it with the intentions of maybe him surviving and them not. They probably thought he wasn't, he was going to be better off being home and closed as opposed to being in the streets, which are pretty much surrounded by zombies. But I personally think me as a father, I would have taken my kid. Fuck that. That's, that's just sad. That's so sad. Ah, oh, that's terrible. Oh my god. Can we just finish this tragic childbearing process? I'm traumatized every time they show his face. Oh fucking shit. Motherfucking <laughs> Hey! Hey! You stay the hell away from us, you hear? Dude. What's going on? <laughs> oh my god. I saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. It was definitely it a man. I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Could be him or probably one of his buddies or companions. Kenny, I'm fine. Just, I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing, but the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. We stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. I don't know if it's safe to leave just yet. Hmm. Why the hell not? Walkers look to have cleared out. That's hmm. not all I'm worried about. So you'd rather just hunker down here and just let whoever's out there keep us boxed in? Wait for them to starve us out? No thanks. I hate to say it, but Kenny's right. Omid's not in great shape to move, but we can't do anything for him here. Without meds or a doctor, he's only going to get worse. All right, all right. I'll head to the river with Kenny to scope out a boat while you get Omid ready to move. What about me? You'll stay here with the group. You'll only slow us down. <laughs> Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Clem, honey, I, I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you to watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to hmm. you. I know it. It's just this once. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back hmm. before you know it, okay? She, remem okay. she remembered. Daylight's burning. 
Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if we'll meet hmm. anything. I don't remember. <laughs> so you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? Dude, I don't know if I chose the right option there. Leaving Clementine here. She kind of has a point. That's not how it is, Ben. I need you to stay here and keep an eye on Clementine. I can do that. Well, just hmm. so we're clear. While I'm gone, <laughs> anything or anyone tries to get inside this house, you shoot them. Don't even think twice about it. Understand? I got no problem shooting walkers. Did you hear what I said? Anything or anyone. Good. Hopefully this trust in Ben is not the wrong, uh, the wrong choice. As we all know, we have people lurking over this house now, which is obviously not safe anymore. We pretty much thought we found a safe haven and, uh, well, those thoughts are going down the drain now. We are being stalked and I'm not very fond of it. Now we head out into the unknown with our good old pal Kenny, who's got slightly a uh, temper. But uh, that's okay. We need a strong individual in, in our group here. East Bay and Lincoln Streets. As long as Kenny doesn't bust a cap on a man with that gun and attract all the zombies, I think we're going to be okay. He's got the gun ready to pull the trigger. <laughs> this man's on the edge. Look at him. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of feel like we have to be careful with Kenny more than anything else. I'm going to keep an, a, a close eye on that right hand of Kenny's. Hey, uh, so you want to talk about it? About what? About what happened back there in the attic. No. You sure, man? I mean, River's we... right up ahead. Jesus Christ. Son of a bitch. That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. Oh, no. What in the hell is going on? Maybe whoever's ringing that is just trying to distract us, create a diversion. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. Hmm. Let's keep moving. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... Oh god, what happened here? Oh my god. Oh, the boats. There's got to be a boat. There's got to be. Are you sure about that? Doesn't look like it to me. Maybe we need to start thinking about a plan B. This is the plan. It's the only one we've got, and you pissing on it in front of everyone like you did back at the house ain't exactly helping. Well, screw you. <laughs> I ain't giving up that easy. This guy, bro. Where's the option to slap this man across the face right now? The disrespect is pissing me off, quite frankly. <laughs> Probably this one might still be salvageable. Seriously? You got a better fucking idea? This guy, bro. I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. This guy is so caught up in the whole idea of we've got to get out of here in boat or on boat. Someone must have been trying <laughs> to back their boat into the water. 
Only things didn't go as planned. He's gonna cause the death of all of us, man. I'm telling you. Okay, so we've got uh, a sunken boat. I feel like somebody was probably trying to escape as well. Maybe someone trying to do what we're trying to do now, and obviously everything just went to shit. I'll just have a look around, okay? Okay. He doesn't want to talk to me. All right. Want to play hard again? All right, Kenny. Fine. Totally okay. I'm trying to interact with everything that I possibly can. Tires removed. Engine parts missing. Looks like this thing has been stripped clean. Yeah, that's actually quite weird, huh? Must have been a hell of a wreck. This is definitely when everything just went to crap. We've got boards up there. Looks People like have definitely. For all the good it did. I wouldn't be surprised if there's individuals in there. Seems like the entire city and its civilians are secluded inside buildings, or at least they once were. It's an old cash register. Not much use these days. Yeah, I don't think money would do us any good. Abandoned newsstand. Okay, up here we have a window with boards. Must have taken weeks to board up all these windows. Dude, everything is boarded. What is this? A A J. What the hell are these markings? Some gang all signs. Over the place. Oh God. Oh my goodness. Fuck. This is meant to Stay be out. Oh my god. Do something like this. Yeah, I don't think you're going anywhere, buddy, okay? So just stop trying to stop. Just stop. Yeah, I'm not gonna shoot them. Shooting them would be pretty stupid right now. It's definitely a barricade. Trying to impede us from moving forward on that direction. That's totally fine. Now I'm just going to head back to my little telescope. Or whatever the hell this is called. A telescope. Okay. Great. Needs a quarter to work. Well, we were just at the cash register. I guess we'll go back over here and more markings over there. Got myself a quarter from the cash register. Hello, beautiful. Don't yeah. mind if I do. Yeah. And too easy. all right, there's no quarter here. <laughs> now what? Um. Right. So hmm, maybe back here in the alley. I really don't know why I'm going to the alley. Nothing good ever happens in the alley. I think maybe one of the zombies could possibly have a quarter in their pockets. Could be military tags, but what do they mean? Let's see. Let's check out the zombies. The only option it's giving me is to shoot them. Like scarecrows. What sick bastard did this? What I want to know is how they even landed on top of that, in that position exactly. Okay, we're gonna keep looking. Stay out. I need to find myself. What if I use the wrench on this? Oh, wait a minute. Damn. <laughs> okay, that, that that doesn't work. Um, Let's see. Let's see. I need a quarter. I need a quarter. Let's see if Kenny has a quarter. You got a quarter on you? Don't have a lot of use for small change these days. Hmm. Maybe you can find one on the street somewhere. Well, you see, you've been looking at the same spot for like a good 10 minutes now, Kenny. Maybe this right here. Locked. Hmm. Maybe I can smack it. Ah. Uh, oh, we got a quarter. Nice. Thought that would have made a little bit too much noise. I guess uh, not enough. All right. Let's go this way. 
Back to the telescope we go. Oops, this way. Okay, I'm extremely lost right now. Where the? <laughs> All right, here we go. Fuck. What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hull's cracked well, beneath the water line. I told Someone you. Someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it. Yeah. You just the, realized, what huh? What the hell is that? <laughs> A fate worse than death. Okay. Abandoned, like every other place in this city. Really creepy building. Yes, indeed. There is a boat in the middle, but it's sunken. No way that one's salvageable. So that's pretty much done. Oh, wait a minute. The Talmadge Memorial Bridge. Can't imagine how many people tried to escape across it when the city started to fall. Nothing but water, not a boat to be seen. That's kind of crazy that, that during a time like this, there's oh. What the hell? <laughs> oh my god. Hardcore parkour. <laughs> oh my god. Get down. Get down. And suddenly, a mysterious figure appears. The hooded vigilante. Hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Come here looking for trouble. Yeah, well, it seems to have a way of finding us anyways. Look, this could be the guy from the radio. The one who's been messing with us. If he is, we can put an end to it right now. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're going to talk. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Oh, we're gonna talk, all right. One step at a time. Okay. And he's gone. <laughs> what the? Oh! Oh! It was a girl. That's right. Oh, what the hell? Oh, I totally spammed X. I wasn't expecting to get my ass beat by a girl right now. That's uh, definitely not the plan, can no. it? <gasps> Pam? Please don't hurt him. I remember her. There's so many characters that I don't remember until I see them. You're not from Crawford. Crawford? What the hell are you talking about? Yeah, Kenny, come out 10 minutes later. Sure, that definitely helped. Kenny, no, it's not our guy. <laughs> oh my God. God damn it. No, he's with us. Who the hell are you people? I asked you first. The name's Molly. Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. I'm not looking for any trouble. Hi. <laughs> you guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? That is. Everything beyond that barricade. What the hell happened here? You sure you want to know? 
When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero-tolerance policy for anyone who won't, or can't, live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. Do you know who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! <laughs> Lee, I knew she was the one who'd been following us! Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. <laughs> I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. That's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast, get in and out before they start to wander back again. Was that you at our house this morning? Watching me through the back fence? Hell no. Believe it or not, I've got better things to do with my time. So it's definitely a man. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived, while the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. What exactly did Crawford do with all these burdens? What happened to them? Well, you met some of them already. Oh, that's right. Oh, they man. put them... Oh, dude. Yeah. Anyone who got sick, anyone too old, anyone they figured wasn't strong enough to survive. To them, those people were just mouths to feed, a drain on their precious resources. Dear God. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Came down here looking for a boat. Hoping to get our people out of here and find someplace safe. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. I wanted to ask Clem what ha why, why she came here, hey, but moron. it's not giving me the option now. Down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before. Oh my god. Right. Just right. Here come the dead. Oh god. Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Bob, is there a <laughs> she just left? Oh, there we go. Yeah, nobody's gonna catch her. What the hell do you think you're doing? I'll tell you what I'm not doing. I'm not getting eaten. And what about us? What about you? Please, you can't just leave us. She cares for the little girl. Luckily for us. Come on, make it fast. Oh, God. Fuck me. Come on, come on, hurry. Oh, my God. God damn it. Oh, man. One good jump. Oh, God damn it, Lee. Come on. No, 
Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. God damn it, Lee. Get on top of the trash can and jump up there. Oh. Or maybe go under. All right, let's go under. Oh my god. Here, use that to pry it open. Okay, a moment of desperation here, guys. Moment of desperation here. <gasps> oh my god. I'm surprised they didn't just throw themselves down through the sewer. I mean, it's not like they know. Right? <laughs> That's such BS. And you know what also is BS? That we're now in the sewers. Oh, oh fuck. Yep, they, they came down. All right, well, I spoke too soon. Yeah, they, they, yeah, okay. Got it. Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. <sighs> Shit. Well, we are now underground. Let's see where we're going to head this way under the sewer. This is quite interesting. And to be honest, this is actually pretty damn clean. Being what it is and all. Got a gate here. I'm gonna check the back gate first. Built solid. Built solid. No way I can pry that open. Okay, we'll keep we'll keep going this way. Don't mind if I do, I'm just uh alone and scared. 40 feet under, it's totally fine. Nothing's gonna happen here. We're totally fine. Oh god. Yes. I'm having actual jump scare moments at a comic book game. Quite depressing if you ask me. Oh, a dead rat. Touching that. Last thing I need is some god awful disease. Ugh, nasty. Okay, what's back here? Can we do anything back here? Nope. Oh my god. Okay. no way I can take on all of those things by myself. Oh my goodness. Okay, so maybe Maybe I can find some sort of weapon. Okay, there's a pipe here. Hmm. It's a drainage pipe. Well, there's definitely no way I can do much. I still have her weapon, so. Before they see me, I'm gonna hide it here. Ooh. Looks like some kind of drainage pipe. Is there anything else in here? Let me see. What happens if I turn this? Oh my god. Good thing I'm out here and not in there. Hmm. Seems loose. <gasps> All the noise. Shit. Okay, I'm gonna turn it. What happens if I turn it to the left? Let me see. Won't turn anymore in that direction. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna take it out. Let's see. I'm gonna go back around this way. It's okay, Lee. We've got this, buddy. I'm, oh, I'm gonna try this. Please work, please work. Oh, it worked. Perfect. Okay. We just got around. Everything's going according to plan. So we pretty much went around. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay. So now I'll put this here and I'll turn it. Right, let's 
Let's see. Turn it to the right. Oh my god. <gasps> okay, so now they'll come this way. Here they come. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay, so I'll go this way now. They come this way. The waterfall will cause attention. Okay, why is this red? Oh my god, they're so close right now. <gasps> they are so damn close. You guys keep going, there's nobody here. Just a man trying to survive. Okay, I think, oh. All right, only one individual zombie stayed back there. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can Must have tried to hide out down here. Poor bastard. Oh my Bullets. god. Must have saved the last one for himself. You deserve better, old man. Dude. Dude, poor Chuck, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, all right. What in the freaking crap? No, 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 no! I'm an idiot. Oh shit! I deserve to die. I deserve to die. Oh god, I'm an idiot. Well. Oh god. Yep, I'm gonna die. Yep. I pressed the gun by mistake. Now uh, the walkers are coming. Um, no way I could pick that up on my own. Ah. Uh, well. Okay, the zombies are not coming here anymore. Looks like somebody <sighs> saw the damn thing off. Jesus Christ. So I could put the ladder there, but unfortunately. Just a sign. Can I go through this door? Oh! Broke off. <laughs> <laughs> that door is fucked. Oh my god, what am I doing? I'm so nervous, man. Alright, let's see. I don't think I'll be able to pry this open. I'm not gonna be able to pry these bars with this. Hmm. Dude, I'm an idiot. I literally just broke the door off. Hmm. Damn, I can't reach it. That's not gonna. Oh. What the hell? Wait, there's a hole there. Okay, so things are actually looking up for us. Into the mysterious tunnel we go. <laughs> okay. Fallout shelter. This is this is not good. Must have been one of those old nuclear fallout shelters. Well, look at here. We've got tons of medicine, food, and supplies. I think we've hit the jackpot. So now we're gonna go back home and tell our friends, guys, we found a stash. We gotta go back to the sewers. It is filled with things. And this is a fallout shelter. So what better place than to stay here? So we'll be doing that on the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. This one was actually very fun. And I think kind of like one of the more scarier ones as far as jump scares. <laughs> it got me a couple of times. Thank you again for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. As always, if you did, a thumbs up would really be not a bit. I can't even talk right now. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.